wanted to share a brief video of the Grizzly Duo uh, before I complete the installation. <clears throat> this is the J1772 holders that would be mounted on the wall to uh, retain these plugs. And looks like looks like quality material. This charger is capable of up to 40 amps and uh, that, that can be shared between these two uh, output plugs. Again, J1772. Uh, we will be charging a Model Y and I chose this charger because at $899, I felt like that was a, a great deal for having the option to charge two EVs at the same time, even though uh, at present I do not have two EVs. Tax credit is only good for uh, 2021. It ends this year, the 30%. So this one is a NEMA 650 plug type. And this is the back plate that goes on the charger. These are apparently the bolts that will hold those in. This is a retaining pin. And those are the uh, mounting lags for this panel that goes on the wall. And I believe it comes with 20, 24 feet of uh, <clears throat> plug length each. Um, so I think this will be a great charger for us. And it is set at 32 amps. <clears throat> For me, uh, I request that, that be set from the factory. They, of course, ask you where you want it set at. And uh, for me, 32 amps was best because I already have a, uh, a receptacle in my garage, but it is only fed with a 40 amp breaker. So because it only has a 40 amp breaker, that means that I can only uh, use this at 32 amps. Um, that's just a pretty pretty black and white rule in the NEC that you have to uh, have your power supply at 125% if you have a uh, continuous load. So 32 amps times 1.25 equals 40 amps. Hope you uh, enjoy the video. And I uh, hope this answered some questions. Um, if anyone does have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. Thanks.